The meteoric rise of Aaron Maney, better known as Mr. Who's the Boss in the world of tech influencers has been nothing short of spectacular. Known for his deep dives into the latest gadgets, clear and concise reviews, and ability to captivate millions with his tech narratives, he has carved a niche for himself in the tech universe. But how is this YouTube influencer possibly going to be worth $100 million? Stick around to the end to find out. The reasons are more compelling than you might think. From a struggling high school student with a weird haircut to a handsome and incredibly successful top tech YouTuber, who would have thought Aaron Maney would go on to become the UK's largest tech YouTuber? In actuality, we wouldn't have it any other way, and it's always a pleasure to have him on our screens. It all began with an Android phone that his brother gave him. Because of Aaron Maney's inquisitive nature, he investigated the ins and outs of the phone and figured out everything that goes into making an Android phone. When Maney started out, he neither had the equipment nor the money to test the latest gadgets. Due to his limited budget back then, he was mainly focused on making software-based videos. Later on, he would borrow new products from others in order to review them on his channel. His big break came in August 2015. Aaron hit the jackpot when he made a tutorial for his YouTube channel in which he explained how people can turn their smartphones into hologram generators. At that time, his channel had 3,000 to 4,000 views per video, but this video got 300,000 views in one night. This video has more than 20 million views now. Fast forward eight years, and he has been featured around the globe in publications like Huffington Post, The Daily Telegraph, Business Insider, Good Morning America, the 6.30 Show, and BBC Radio, all praising him for his contribution to the tech sector of YouTube. But his success ended up being above and beyond all his predictions and even the highest estimates. It took him seven years to get to one million subscribers, only a year to get to two million, and a short eight months to get to three million. Now, he has gained over 15 million YouTube subscribers. He went from the guy watching big tech YouTubers like MKBHD, to collaborating with Marquess himself. Aaron Maney has worked with and attended several launch events and even had the unique opportunity of interviewing the CEO of Google. My son is going to be excited I'm doing this. He watched the videos. Your review is what he cares about. Oh my god. <laughs> A lot sure has changed since he posted his first video. And now, the 27-year-old economic graduate, Mr. Who's the Boss, is faced with a new challenge. In a world where Apple Inc. is a tech titan with a trillion dollar market cap, Mr. Who's the Boss has set his eyes on an audacious goal to beat Apple in subscriber count on YouTube. Apple is currently destroying us in subscriber count. So I set it as a mission for us to overtake them. And if we do, I will personally build the largest, most powerful iPhone myself. This is not an easy task, considering Apple's massive global fan base and its knack for creating visually stunning product reveals. However, if there's anyone who could achieve this feat, it would be Mr. Who's the Boss. His unique content, innovative approach, and his unyielding passion for technology make him a formidable challenger. To sweeten the deal, Mr. Who's the Boss has made an enticing promise. If he manages to surpass Apple's subscriber count, he will undertake an unprecedented project to build the world's largest Apple phone from scratch. This could be a game changer, not just for him, but for the tech world at large. The sheer magnitude of this project would draw global attention, further increasing his subscriber count and overall brand value. I'm curious to know if he'll review his own creation in the event that he succeeds. We'd love to hear your opinion. Please leave a comment and let us know what you think. Don't forget to show your support by giving us a like. But how does this translate to a $100 million value for Mr. Who's the Boss? The answer lies in the power of online influence. Not just that, but several factors would need to come into play. Here's how. Surpassing Apple's subscriber count will not only represent a symbolic victory over one of the world's most influential tech companies, but also provide a massive audience base that can be monetized in various ways. Aaron is the real boss when it comes to all things tech. 
With people becoming more tech savvy, Aaron will no doubt be their first point of call when it comes to tech news and exciting new releases. Given that his channel gets a larger audience than Apple, Mr. Who's the Boss would be in a prime position to acquire brand partnerships, endorsements, and sponsorships, which would result in a steady revenue flow. Mr. Who's the Boss has gained a huge amount of popularity through creating and posting educational, informative, and detailed content for a hugely popular industry. He regularly uploads to YouTube as well as Instagram. From tech reviews, advice, and personal testimonials, Mr. Who's the Boss has worked with an array of brands and big household names, including Nokia Mobile and Huawei. By providing unique content about the development of the largest ever Apple handset, Mr. Who's the Boss has the opportunity to introduce a high-end subscription service that could become an additional source of income. The process of constructing this phone is certain to come with both successes and difficulties. YouTube's partner program provides content creators with the opportunity to make money from ads. When a video is viewed, it generates money. A project such as this would likely draw millions of views, meaning a great deal of advertisement profit. Regardless, Apple's event will without a doubt feature it. The creation of the world's largest Apple phone will inevitably lead to merchandising opportunities. Think miniature replicas, branded merchandise, and even licensing deals for the design and concept. Creating the world's largest Apple phone would generate a massive amount of hype, and this in turn will lead to massive product sales. With the capital generated from the above sources, Mr. Who's the Boss can invest in tech startups and innovative projects, or even acquire other companies to further expand its empire. His enhanced brand value and increased visibility could also attract significant investment in his future projects. This could lead to the creation of his own tech company, further amplifying his net worth. If you know about the Nothing Phone, then you understand that it began in the same manner. The smartphone startup sought to build the Apple of Android. They started from nothing, pun intended, to building one of the best phones ever. Their first phone, which runs on the Android operating system, had a transparent casing to showcase its tech guts, used more sustainable materials, and featured LED lights on the back that lit up when receiving a call or playing music. Priced under $400, it won design awards and a cult following. Nothing has sold over 1 million goods worldwide to date raised $100 million, and generated over $250 million from its sales. Mr. Who's the Boss could potentially be the nothing of tech if he is able to pull off building the largest iPhone from scratch. The vision and ambition of Mr. Who's the Boss are clear. By surpassing Apple's subscriber count and building the world's largest Apple phone, the channel will not only create a new era of tech influence, but also a diversified business model that could potentially be worth $100 million. We are absolutely certain he can achieve this. He has managed to conquer every difficulty and is determined to succeed this time too. Why? Because he adores what he does. The top tech YouTuber generally puts in 12 to 14 hours a day, but he never tires of it as it is something he loves. It's quite the opposite, actually. He actually admits to forgetting to even eat throughout the day and losing touch with where he's at. But he doesn't complain and is simply thankful for his opportunities and overall success. Aaron Maney is incredibly appreciative of all of his subscribers and viewers who have been with him through his journey in a tech world that is constantly evolving. It's not just about amassing wealth or receiving recognition. This is about pushing the limits of what technology and influencers can do. It's a chance to take something ordinary and make it extraordinary. Mr. Who's the Boss has the know-how, and with the right team, he can make it happen. While $100 million might seem like a lofty goal for a YouTube influencer, considering the scale of his ambitions, the potential for revenue generation, and the power of online influence, it's not entirely unfathomable. If Mr. Who's the Boss continues on his current trajectory and manages to fulfill his promise, he could well be on his way to creating a tech empire worth $100 million. Only time will tell if Mr. Who's the Boss can turn this ambitious dream into a reality. But one thing is for sure, it's going to be a journey worth watching. That's it for today's video. What are your thoughts? Let us know in the comments below. And if you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. 
Your support helps us reach more people with our content. Thanks for watching and consider watching our other videos right here.